to write or to solve this particular one, you're going to need to write two equations. The first thing that you want to do is define the variables and to figure out what the variables are, it's always going to be what it is you're being asked for. So we're being asked for two numbers. And so those two numbers are going to be our variables. One of them is smaller than the other one. So I'm just going to call one of them S for the small number and the other one B for the big number. If there are two things you don't know, then you need to write two equations. This first sentence is gonna lead me to my first equation. The sum of the two numbers is 65. The word sum means add. So I'm going to have S plus B, the small number plus the big number equals 65. The next sentence says one number is four times as large as the other one. So in other words, if we take our small number and multiply it by four, we're going to get our large number. So that leads us to the equation, the big number equals four multiplied by S. In this instance, I think the method we should use is substitution. And the reason I'm selecting that method is because one of the variables is already by itself. So I'm gonna start off with the equation I wrote, S plus B equals 65. And now I'm going to be able to replace the B in this equation with 4S. So replacing that with 4S, then S plus 4S makes a total of 5S. Divide both sides by five and I end up with 13. Now that I know that the small number is 13, I'm gonna come back into the other equation. So I'm gonna put that, let's make that back, okay. So come back into the other equation. I just grab this one. And then I'm gonna replace the S in this equation with 13. Okay, so four times S, so four times 13 and four multiplied by 13 is 52. We can double check that if we want to. Go back up to S plus B equals 65 and 13 plus 52 is 65.